So in this lesson, we're going to talk about setting up an AngularJS application. We're not really going to get into building any specific functionality. We're just going to talk about some things that are universally applicable in any Angular app that you might build. So you can see in front of you that I've built probably the simplest Angular application you're ever going to see. It just comprises of two files. We've got index.html and app.js, and they're living in the same directory. And so let's talk about index.html first. AngularJS is a single page application and index.html is that single page. Inside it, you're probably going to notice ng-app right away. This is a directive. And what this is doing is it's auto bootstrapping AngularJS. And you can only do this once per application. So you'll never do it twice inside the same HTML file. ng-app does a couple of things. One of which we care about right now is it's designating the element in which it's contained as the root element of the application. So what does that mean? Here we see ng-app inside HTML. And so this is saying that all the Angular stuff that's gonna happen is gonna happen inside these HTML tags only. Nothing with a sibling or a parent of it in the HTML DOM tree. We don't have to put it in HTML. We could put it inside body if we wanted to, and then everything is going to happen inside the body. We can also put it inside a div. Put ng app inside that div, and then all the Angular stuff is going to happen inside that div. All of these work. It's just saying Angular stuff is only going to happen in here, essentially. After that, we are including two JavaScript files. The first one is AngularJS minified. Google provides AngularJS off a CDN, which is really, really convenient when you're doing a simple application like this. So that's just what the first one is. And then after that, we'll include any JavaScript files that we've written ourselves. This format works because we're serving the files statically and it's very simple. It's great for learning Angular, but you're never going to see this in a production implementation of an Angular application. And the reason for this, well, there are many reasons, but here the first problem that we are going to run into is the same origin policy. So as we start to build out Angular, we're going to start to request files off of a server. And of course, here we're not running a server. We're just loading the index.html file right in the browser. And it works fine for our purposes. But if Angular is going to make a request to a server that's considered foreign, and when you're opening the file in your browser, any request to a local server is going to be considered foreign. It won't be able to use whatever is delivered through that. So once we start to scale the application, we'll be serving it formally as part of a service. We can avoid these things and write it cleaner. But ultimately, for now, this is going to work fine. So we're including these two files. And so that's all that's going on in the index.html file. In app.js, you only see one line. So at this point, Angular has already been included and initialized. So we've got this Angular object. On it, we're going to declare a module. The module is called app. And inside these brackets, you would normally list dependencies as strings. There are none, so we just put empty brackets. App here, as you have probably figured out, is tying app to the ng app. So these must match for the Angular application to recognize that the ng app directive is the one that you want. Now that we have discussed that, let's actually view it in the browser. So I've got it here. I'll just reload it. So we can see here that we are having all our files delivered properly. We will check that Angular has been correctly initialized by looking for Angular. Since Angular is a global object, we just go Angular. We can see that the Angular object is returned to us with all its attributes and methods and things like that. We're not doing anything with it yet, but you can see that this is the framework, more or less, from which we're going to work for our initial applications. 